Alrighty guys, welcome back to some so, to some Romantic Saga 3. As you can see here, I'm actually going to turn this into a Let's Play. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on doing this. And I'm just going to finish this up before I do anything else. I'm probably going to do some other 3 uh, in Mario 2 onto the side. Since those are short. Which I really need to do another Mario 2. And uh, when I get that done, I will... Uh, well, not when I get that done. When I get this done, I will probably finish up Metroid. Just, I really need to keep my priorities straight, and now I'm going to actually do this. The reason why I'm do the reason why I'm choosing to do this one is because, well, the other games I chose were just games I like playing. That's just thing I probably be enjoy let's playing. So now I'm doing a game that I'm going to. This is blind, by the way, but between videos, I actually. Went through and did another uh, game, going through and uh, well, I didn't beat the game. I just went in a little bit and uh, got used to the game. What's this? Listen to that music! Yeah, and here's our first boss. And you gotta admit, this is some pretty kick-ass music right here. This is the Gahara Wing. This is the uh, game's very first boss, or at least from this point in its perspective. I went through it again as a different person, uh, which we will be meeting up here in a little bit. Is that the game has different perspectives? That the like there's like two different, no three probably different storylines depending on which character you choose. If you choose any of the four on the back row, I believe you go through this storyline. If you choose Harold, you'll go through another storyline, and if you choose the uh, Blonde hair dude, you get another storyline. I don't know about the I don't know about the girl characters, but uh, I haven't done Harold's storyline, which I I don't know what his is all about. It's probably the same as this, but like, this is sort of com a combination of the two storylines, I guess. And the blonde hair dude, who we'll be meeting later on, he's his storyline is uh, completely different from them. From this one. Oh, also another thing I noticed is that throughout the actual battles, you have, depending on what you actually have equipped, you actually have multiple battle menus. See, uh, uh, depending on like which uh, weapon you have equipped, have equipped, like here. See, I had a, I have a bow and arrow and a long sword equipped. So, that's two, two completely different menus, and plus, depending on, like, you only have one potion per person because you automatically get healed after every battle, which I think is a really cool idea. Something they should have put in more games like this. Also, I know that when I did the, uh, the first look video, uh, turns out that the thing that the L isn't your, isn't your levels, it's how many lives you have. Each character can only die ten times. Before they can't be revived, they'll automatically be revived after every battle. Which, again, this this game really is. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, stuttering a little bit. Oh, I just learned a new attack. Why well, didn't uh, the girl did? But still, that's what the uh, potion looks like, by the way. But uh, salve is actually a potion. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this game th this game doesn't really hold your hand. But it does make it easier for strategy because uh, you don't really need you don't really need to like spend a lot of m money uh, buying potions later on uh, when you actually do get to that point. And that since you automatically get healed, it's uh makes it it makes you feel a little bit more confident. And so you, so let, you don't have to really uh, stop the heal. And since they uh, I think the reason why they did, did that is because you can only have a certain amount of potions equipped. You can have a bunch of potions in your inventory, but you can't use them unless you have, unless you have them equipped. You can have multiple weapons too. Like, you can actually, you can actually probably have one person use every weapon available. Like weapon type. At least. Oh, blunt strike. Huh? Didn't do any damage. It must have some sort of status ailment on it. Maybe like stunning or confusion. One of the two. 
And I'll do it again, see if it get, does any effect. Yeah! We beat our first boss. Hard leveled up. I leveled up. I leveled up twice. I'm going to actually get used to everybody's names. I'll pop by next video I'll probably have, have all their names memorized. Such a boss. There he is. The next the uh This is the prince. I believe. Yeah, he's a prince. He's, uh, Monica's sister. Uh, not sister. Brother. Monica is his sister. This is Mikhail. He is the, uh... Like I said, he's the prince of the country that you are currently in. And he is the, uh... His storyline... I'll... I'll show this in, like, a, a later on video. But, like... He's sort of, like, he does what a prince does. He goes out and fights in wars. And you actually control an entire army while you do this. I don't, it's not, not like Command and Conquer or Halo Wars or anything like that. It's more of like, you tell them they're ex like what they do. They'll fight for you and all you have to do is just pretty much give them pretty, uh, what's the word? Vivid orders. Like, tell them to defend or attack. That's pretty much it. Aren't you the Tornado? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, that's Harold's uh, nickname. He used to be known as the Tornado, like some sort of mercenary. So, p apparently Mikhail wants us to take his sister to a vampire, who I'm assuming is going to is like a friend of the family. Please take care of Monica. It's okay, you guys can do it. I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can do it, Thomas. At this rate, that's rare. No, it is rare that you are so timid. It's okay. It may be a long, but ah, oh, crap! I hit the button. <laughs> Talking is easy. All right, let's get moving. Oh wait, before we go, Mikhail said something about uh items. Here. What do you do? Uh, armor? No, no armor. Oh, uh ho, I see. He gave us uh, some potions, a shield, and. Po potions, sword, shields, and what looks to be. Huh. Are those like spells or something? I think so. Uh, say better sword, so you can take that one. Uh, shield. Potion. No, you have two potions. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here, you can take a, uh, she can use a second, she can use more powerful sword. She has very, Monica right now has very low attack, but, uh, maybe, I think she learned, but she already, she starts off with a spell. Uh, so maybe later on, uh, she'll get, maybe, maybe later on she's gonna become, like, our mage or something. <laughs> in fact, I don't even know how long she's gonna be in our party. I didn't go that far into the game. I just went, like, into where I, I just pretty much went a little bit in, that's it. I didn't go, like, super far, like, all the way to the end of the game. Yeah, like, I did that in one day. <laughs> oh, store technique. Uh, no, she didn't, she can, she's better with her axe. He could use the sword technique. <laughs> he is the swordsman of the group. Uh, save. We have a new enemy here. This is the goblin. Just standard goblin. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Broad sword, uh Try to sweep down, see what it does, see how well it does. Hand axe, hunter, foil. I'm guessing that's her rapier. Okay, she starts off with a rapier. I'm guessing foil is what it's called. Twenty-five. Uh, she does have low attack, but hey, it's not. It's not the worst.
Holy crap. HP up! Axe and Mace. Now, apparently Axe and Mace have the same, uh... Let's see. Now, it looks like, looks like it by the sprite that has an enemy. Here's another new enemy. This is... Uh, one second. The Arachnid. In other words, a giant spider. Yes, we all love giant spiders. Sands of Mars. That must be a spell. I'll save that for the next. I'll save that for later when I actually need it. Thing is, I already fought these arachnids before. Their defense is completely screwy. They're weak. They're weak to piercing, but they're strong to bl but they're sh they're weak to no S scratch that. They're strong to piercing, like her rapier and swords and arrows. But it's a good thing she's got a tomahawk axe, because other than that, we can't do much damage. As you can see, uh, Monica is only doing zero damage with both her weapons. I'm pretty sure the man, the dude with the blue, not blue, green hair, his name is Julius. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, but another, oh, that reminds me. You can actually change the formation in this game, but not just like change who, you can actually change wh how people stand. This is what one I like to use, it's called Whirlwind. Put uh, Julius over there. Until I learn his real name, I'm just going to call him Julius right now. No, wait, wait. Desert lands, it sounds like. Oh. Those are Same, it's pretty much a bow and arrow. Roll in again. I want to stand in the center, because I'm important. <sighs> this is my story, and you're just a part of it. I know that's not how it goes. But I. Oh! Sorry, just had another battle there. I'll be editing out some of these random encounters. I might keep a couple of them in just to show you, like, if I learn a new attack or something. Oh! Tech up. HP up. Huh, a lot of tech ups there. And we also mattered Shadow Sue. Yep, another one. Getting a lot of HP ups here. Ooh, new enemy, new enemy! Ambush. This is the warp, warper, warper. I'm guess supposed to be like, oh, Julian, is his name. Julian, Sarah, Monica. Dang, that's a nasty attack he got there. Monica, level up, level up. She's getting better with her swords here. I, it, this game sort of has a weapon preferency system. Uh, I was going to do something, but I forgot what I was going to do. Hang on, I don't want to do any more editing right now. I just want to go through this. Whoa. That was a close one. We almost had to fight a frog. Crap, nope, nope. Uh, I skipped the last two battles because it's sort of like I encountered everybody up there. And... Ah, screw it. I'm running out of time here. YouTube limit. Ooh. So I'm just gonna fight these guys. Helldiver. We've encountered you in the last video. I'm probably just gonna call this one uh, part one. My part, maybe part two. You know what? I'm just gonna call it part one because this is the official first part. That's a nasty attack. 80. That's the most damage that's ever been done to us so far. And that's the least. <coughs> okay. That's right. If I accidentally edit out a video that we learned a new tech or something or something important happens. 
I will mention it after the uh, battle, and then I'll show it in the I'll show it next battle showing the attack. But uh, I believe it's about time for us to be heading, to, heading out here. We are running out of time. So next next time, we will be heading up. We will be heading out and meeting this vampire that they that uh, Mikhail has been so worked up about. See you guys then.